The move against Israel, which is striking in the language of Lord Cameron, is perhaps going a little bit too far for some Conservatives, and Sir Alan Duncan is now being investigated by Conservative bigwigs, the rankers, after he said that pro-Israel extremists in the party should be kicked out because they were refusing to support international law. He said that Eric Pickles and uh, Lord Stuart Polak, both members of the Conservative Friends of Israel organization, should be thrown out of the party. Well, the CFI, uh, he says, is being used for the interests of another country by lobbying for Israel. He also fingered Michael Gove, not for the first time, Oliver Dowden, Suella Braverman, Robert Jenrick, Priti Patel, all as extremists for failing to denounce the Israeli settlements on Palestinian land. Of course, he is absolutely right that Israel has moved far too enthusiastically into the territory of Palestine, both uh, in the West Bank and in Gaza. Um, and we shouldn't be encouraging that. But at the same time, to expose the deep underbelly of conservative division is very interesting. People like Nicholas Soames, Sir Nicholas Soames, Winston Churchill's uh, grandson, so Malcolm Rifkin, Mark Logan, these people are calling for a suspension of UK arms to Israel. And this is, I, I think this is the right thing to do. I think we shouldn't be giving Israel more power to continue the assault on Gaza, particularly as it's now effectively reached its end, it's reached its conclusion, and it's only continuing because Netanyahu is desperate to cling on to power, and the only way that he thinks that he can stay is by keeping the war going. Well, the war should never have started, or the war should never have started in this format, but to keep it going is disturbing and should should um should conservative ministers be calling out other members of the conservative party in this public way the answer i think is yes what we need is debate and that sometimes involves getting people to stand up and take the heat and explain what they're doing. And on LBC this morning, Alan Duncan uh, was, um, uh, was, was, was told that he's now, now under investigation by the party. And it could lead to his expulsion. He used words like anti-Semitic tropes, and his accusations were direct. But I don't think one needs to be anti-Semitic to be seriously alarmed by the actions of Netanyahu and by the progress of this pernicious campaign against Gaza. I don't think that's necessarily anti-Semitic. I also don't think it's necessarily anti-Zionist, but it is certainly calling Netanyahu out as one of the world's thugs, and I don't think we should be supporting him.